What's up, guys? I just want to say this. Each day, each moment, each second, each hour is it is each second, each day, each hour, each whatever I just said, closer to Jesus coming. And that's just biblical. We're not going backwards in time. So, all I can say is that things have been getting crazy. And I think everybody can see that. The war with Ukraine, Russia, the red heifer, just everything, prophecy is being fulfilled by the day. And we're getting closer and closer to Jesus' arrival. Now, do I think we're going to be raptured? I hope so. I personally would love that. I don't know if it's to happen or not. There's a lot of pre-trib, post-trib stuff, but that's not for this video. I just want to say, stay in prayer, guys. Stay in the word. Stay in the word. Because he's coming. He's close. He's close. This thing does not lie. Jesus is returning. Revelation will unfold. The trumpets, the seals, the bowls, it will happen. Whew, we're getting close. And it seems hard. Like for me, it's hard. Day Each day, sometimes it gets harder. But I know that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. 1 John 4, 4. You know? In Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So I'm doing that too. The Christian life is not an easy life, but it's worth it. What do I mean it's worth it? I mean we're sealed by the Spirit of God, the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. You know, he's inside of us. He lives with us. But the spiritual warfare has been intense. I can feel it. I know it is. Uh, there's just a heaviness going on, going on, at least with me. I feel heaviness. I don't know about everyone else, but I think it's part of it, which shows, I mean, not that my heaviness shows that we're closer, but I know we're closer, and it's just the truth. If you're going to deny that we're closer, then I don't know what world you're living in, because each day we're closer, and that is that is the truth. We get closer each day. So, I don't know. I want to just read a psalm. Just a psalm. Psalm 38, a time for chastening. That's where the Lord led me. That's awesome. All right. Oh, Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. For your arrows pierce me deeply, and your hand presses me down. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, nor any health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds are foul and, fe and fe festering, because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long, for my loins are full of inflammation, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and severely broken. I groan because of the turmoil of my heart. Lord, all my desires before you, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pants. My strength fails me. As for the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. My loved ones and my friends stand aloof from my plague, and my relatives stand afar off. Those also who seek my life lay snares for me. Those who seek my hurt speak of destruction and plan deception all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, because, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. Thus I am like a man who does not hear and whose mouth is no response. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, hear me, lest they rejoice over me. Lest when my foot slips, they exalt themselves against me. For I am ready to fall, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity. I will be in anguish over my sin. But the enemies are vigorous, and they are strong, and those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. Those also who render evil for good, they are my adversaries, because I follow what is good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. That was Psalm 38, New King James Version. I love the Psalms, guys. The Psalms are so good. Every single one of them. So the prayers, you know. I love soaking in Psalms. 150 chapters. There's a lot to soak in. And if you haven't read them or soaked in them, I highly encourage it. It's awesome. I love Psalms.
they're just encouraging, they're sanctifying, they're purifying. A lot of them are like crazy prayers too, like against the enemy, like break the enemy, do 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 do, which is awesome because yes, God break the enemy, break the sinner, break the wicked man, Father. Father, I just pray that every man and woman that doesn't know you, God, that you bring heaviness upon them to where they need to look in your direction, God, to where they want to seek the creator, which is you, Father. Jesus, do what only you can do, Father. I pray for every unbeliever, every person that opposes you, God, every satanic person, every person that is in satanic worship, every person that doesn't know you, Father, Everyone that isn't sealed, which is way more than our God, I pray that you guide them and lead them into salvation for their souls, Father, through your Son, Jesus. We pray this in Jesus' name, Father. Amen. Does it ever just bother you sometimes, you know? Like you being sealed and you knowing that you're good, you know? But you know what's to happen to your family if they just choose to keep rejecting the the Savior. It terrifies me and it brings me to tears. I've prayed. I've prayed. I've prayed for my family, my parents, my brothers, my sisters, old acquaintances. I've prayed for, I've prayed a lot because it troubles my spirit. It puts me, it puts my spirit downcast, I guess you could say. I don't know. I just get I fear for them. I fear for what will happen to them. Even even my enemies, I guess you could say. But especially my family, like all of them. I don't want anybody to go to hell, no matter what. No matter what you've done. Because God is a forgiving God and he loves every single one of us. But he has to judge sin. He's holy, he's just, and he is righteous. <sighs> He will judge sin. That's what he does. He will judge it. What kind of God would he be if he didn't? He would contradict who he is. And he won't do that. Not on the behalf of any sinner. That's what makes God just so amazing is he is the God of truth, the God of justice, the God of righteousness, the God of holiness, the God of purity, the God of wrath. He loves and he is a very loving God, but he's got a wrathful side to him. A lion of the tribe of Judah. You don't want the lion to come out. And if you're not saved, the lion is already on you. You know, the Bible says, James 4, 4, a friend of the world is at enmity with God. That's a scary thing. God's face is against you. I wouldn't say he hates you, but he does not like you. God loves you, but he hates your sin. He hates sin. He despises sin. Take it up with the king, not me, sorry. I'm just the messenger. But for a good cause, because sin is destructive, guys. Sin does nobody any good. It destroys. It's decay. It's demonic. It's like a disease. It is. Sin's like a disease. And the truth is, every man is born a sinner. We're all born sinners. Born doing things wrong, born corrupt. That's just, that's the way it goes. But time and time again, people have mentioned the name Jesus. People have brought you to church. People have done many things in a sense. Gave you a gospel track. Whatever the case may be, it's not by coincidence, but God's pulling at you. And you're not going to have an excuse on Judgment Day. He'll show you before your eyes all the times that he tried to bring himself towards you and you just, nah, not for me. I've got my, I'm fine how I am. I got, I got this. I don't need Jesus. He's going to show you those things and that is a scary moment. Depart from me for I never knew you. The scariest words that you'll ever hear from the king's mouth. Because after that, after being in his presence, being cast 
from his presence, not for a year, 10 years, a thousand years, but forever and ever and ever. And that's your remainder. That's your remainder. Your remaining. Torment, fire and brimstone, weeping and gnashing of teeth, darkness, detachment from God. Scary thing. If you're hearing these words, they're not for no reason. It's true. The Bible is real. This thing is real. Holy book of God. There's nothing I'd rather have. I mean, I've got Jesus. He's all I need. But this word is his. Is his, it's his as Ray Comfort says, it's his love letter to us. And it is, you know. For God is good. But he's just. He is. It's amazing. God, I love you, Father. Jesus, you're so good to me. Even when I'm lowly, God. And I wonder where you are. I know you are always with me, God. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Though God does show me things in sight. He shows me things in the clouds. Not in the clouds. I mean in the clouds, I guess. But in the in the sky. Up there. For I long to go to heaven. Do you? If you're not sealed and your life hasn't been given to Jesus, if you haven't submitted, repented, and believed in your heart that Jesus is King and God of you, your God, your Father, if you just keep living this witch-wash, filthy life, you, 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 it's prideful, it's ego, it's contrary to who God is and who and who God has called you to be and the life that God wants to give you. I'm not saying we come to Jesus and you become a millionaire. Who knows? God blesses people. But God talks about it so much in the Bible that material things are nothing. They matter not. Let me see if I find a scripture on material things real quick. Ah, oh, material. Oh, come on, you're in here somewhere. Really? Here, let me try riches. Hold on, guys. Sorry, bear with me. Let's see what you did there. One, two, uh, let's see if you did the video and then I teach. You are. Yes, I don't know my alphabets that well. I mean, I know them, but I have to go through them to find where I'm at. You have G-H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R. Don't laugh. Matthew nineteen twenty three. Matthew nineteen. Then Jesus said to his disciples, to his disciples, as assuredly I say to you, that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom. What does that mean, right? Well, we said it as plain as day. It's hard for a rich man to go to heaven. Hmm. Here's a quote by Charles Spurgeon. The gate of heaven, though it is so wide that the greatest sinner may enter, it nevertheless so low that pride can never pass through it. Interesting. It's a good one. Hmm. Anyways, I'm not trying to make this video too long, guys. I'm sorry. 
<clears throat> but yeah, material things, God says, like, don't, don't worry about all that stuff, you know? Of course we need things to survive, and that's not a problem, but it's when we become engulfed and just mesmerized. The Bible also says the love of money is the root of all evil. People take it out of context. Money is the root of all evil. No, the love of it. Money itself is not evil. It's where your heart is with it, though. You know? It's the truth. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off. Just wanted to say what's up to the zero people that view my videos. Maybe one day people will watch them. Who knows? Lord willing. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Who cares? God's with me. Christ is with me every day, all day, no matter what. As is he with you if you are sealed. God bless my brothers and sisters who are. God bless you if you aren't. Come to the cross. Come be a part of the army of the Most High God. Many are called. Few are chosen. Scripture says it. Few, 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 few are chosen. Anyways, Father, I pray over everybody that's watching this, if anyone's watching it, whoever you lead to it, God. I just pray that you sanctify them, purify them, chasten them, Father, to your glory, Father, for the Son's glory, for your child, Father, for your child's glory, for your child, for Jesus, for your Son, for the Son of Man, for the Holy One, God. Let your angels protect us, God, for we are your people. Guide us, guard us, sanctify us, Father. Do what only you can do, God, for you are our king. You are the Alpha and the Omega, God, the beginning and the end. You are my rock, Father. You are my salvation, Father. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Amen, amen. Guide us, Jesus. Protect us for the things to come, for this world is not getting easier, but we have your eternal blessing and your promise. And your word says, God, that no angel, no principality, no demon, nothing can pluck us from your hand, Father. We're in your hand, God. We are written in the book of life, and we belong to your kingdom, God. Help our visit on earth go smoothly, God, even if it doesn't go smoothly, Father. If some of us are martyred for you, God, then let us do it in Jesus' name, God. Guide us protect us bless us but let your will be done god on earth as it is in heaven not our will but your will father it's not about us it's about your it's about your son father it's about jesus help us realize that help us stand in that and help us be just protect us god for we are your people father we are your people in jesus holy name i pray Sorry for the long video. Sorry, not sorry. I don't really care. In Jesus' name, be blessed, guys. Let the fa May the Father bless you, protect you, guide you, and love you as he does. In Jesus' precious name. Amen, guys. Take it easy. God bless.